Secretary, please yield three minutes to the gentleman from Oregon, Mr. Walden. The gentleman from Oregon is recognized. Thank the Speaker, and I thank the Chairman of the House Resources Committee for his leadership on this and many other issues so important to America's economy and our country. I rise today also in support of this legislation to reform the federal helium program and also to re reduce the deficit by $90 million over the next decade. As Chairman of the Energy and Commerce Subcommittee on Communications and Technology, I realize this is not about balloons. This is about America's great innovative and technology sector, about computers, and as we heard from my colleague from New Jersey, uh, MRIs and our great innovation and in technology. It's essential that this become law. At the same time, this measure also provides short-term help to rural communities from some of the funding sources here. And those communities are teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. But let's be clear, that help is a lifeline, not a lifeboat. The status quo of asking Uncle Sam for a check year after year is simply not sustainable. However, managing our federal forests, generating jobs and revenue, that's sustainable. Last week, the House passed a long-term solution for our rural forested communities, H.R. 1526, the Chairman's Bill, the Healthy Forests for the Healthy Communities Act. And now it's time, now it's time, for the United States Senate to take positive action. We need to create jobs in the woods. We need to reduce the threat of wildfire, catastrophic wildfire. We need to improve the health of our watersheds and our forests. We need to help our forested communities get back to self-sufficiency, self-reliance, get people back to work in the woods. The clock's ticking. It's time to get this done. Rural communities cannot wait any longer. I yield back. Gentleman yields back.